Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our hot seat campaign in RTR Imperium Surrectum as Rhodes with Rather Incoherent. As always, make sure you go and check out uh, Rain's last video to see how we got here. So, Red Zed from the future again, guys. I can't believe I keep forgetting to do this, uh, but here is um rain's statement from the last video the nile runs red with blood i'm sure other things are happening but all i see is the exterminate button have fun managing the empire stratahos i think i've committed all the violence at least for now <laughs> and i have heard that there has been a little bit of mayhem <laughs> let's not say uh, let's not say mayhem just glory. <laughs> so Rain apparently last turn or this turn, this exact turn that I have loaded in, exterminated eight cities. <laughs> so we have a load of cash and a load more cities and some more cities on the Peloponnese as well, which is pretty darn nice. I'm not going to lie. We're still neutral with them. We are at war with Ellis. However, I don't really want to take Igeon because I want to kind of let the Aetolians and the Elians just fight that out for now. And I think we're just going to head home with this army for a little bit. I mean, we could go for Igeon, but I don't think we can afford to fight the Aetolians right now. I mean, look at our armies here. We do have Elephant Man on the way with a load of mercenaries, so... He should be able to get here relatively soon. So there we go. Th well, when I say relatively soon, three goddamn turns. That is a long time. Also, I want you to come through this way. If anything, yeah, go through that way because we know we can actually get through that way. If this guy dies, I am going to be incredibly upset. But I think for now... I mean, Sparta really is the only option down out here. So we're going to go through each area one by one, guys, of course. So we're going to go through this first in Ellis because it is the smallest area that we have. Leprion does not have anything in there. We are getting some more troops. So I think the best thing to do for now, get these guys back in there. Keep recruiting the troops. Have we got anywhere else in here that can recruit troops? No, not yet. But we are building a few recruitment hubs Lots of recruitment hubs in this area, it seems. I wonder if there are some good mercenaries available. No. <laughs> the mercenary pool is forever very small on Pel the Peloponnese, apparently. So that is Ellis over with. We are just going to chill here for a little bit. If someone attacks us, of course, we're going to take action. But for now, we definitely can't stand up to this army unless it's all helots. And we cannot stand up to the might of the Aetolians here. <laughs> Definitely not. So we hope that they don't attack us. I mean, we could go and cheekily jump onto Crete, but I think that just opens us up to being attacked on the Peloponnese. So I do want an army there for now. Now, over here, we have plenty of the old troops. We are three turns away in Saïs and uh, in Naukratis, two turns away from finally being able to get proper uh, slingers up here and retrain those boys. Uh, I am going to start getting some more Epibates in there. And we're also going to get some more Hoplites. These Hoplites have proved pretty invaluable, to be honest, uh, to us. So we're going to bring this guy through into this army. Yep, fantastic. We've got two armies over here. Oh, apparently they didn't want to go through the middle. That's fine. We've got Xenocrates over here, and we've also got the big, fat, full stack over this way of Agothostratos, who has been a legendary commander for both of us, to be fair. What a great commander he has been for us in this campaign. Anywhere else that we can recruit, I'm just going to go through and check. I mean, Memphis, we can always recruit there. Yep. Good. Let's make sure we're still recruiting down here too. So I think we'll pick up those troops. What we're going to do then is send this army further south. But I think I'm going to pick off these areas here to stop the enemy from, you know, uh, bombing any of these settlements up here and hopefully just focusing on the ones that actually do border them up there in the north. It's not exactly the richest settlement, 
but there's also Philoterra here too. So I'm hoping by taking those two, that'll stop them attacking on that side completely. And we also do have a, a good army down south as well. So let's get this army further down the road. Let's get down towards Memphis. Have we got anyone we can... Well, we, we're going to get another unit in there next turn, so I'm happy to do that. We've got two units in there that have trained, so we're going to pop past that. Take them. Anyone else? These are all really good garrisons for us, actually. They're fantastic garrisons right now. Our fort wall is still holding, surprisingly enough. <laughs> With our five Prodromoi in there, our 17 Nubian mercenaries in there, too. So let's go down. It's going to take us a whole two turns just to get there. Which is a little bit annoying, but oh well. What can you do about it? Not much, really. Not much. There's nothing really defending them out that way. And down here, we do have a lot of troops in sort of these regions over here. We've got this one, which is a minor city. All of these have been exterminated, as I said earlier on. So anyone that's a large city... Yes, you are a large city. Do you have any recruitment buildings? You have none. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, nowhere down here seems to have any recruitment bills. I wonder whether Rain has destroyed them all for money. That is very, very possible, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, do we build up Hermupolis? I mean, I think we also try and go for this settlement here as a recruitment hub. So we're going to spend a little bit of money on that for now. Secondly, we are going to keep pushing down this way. We're going to send that army onto there. Going to be a few more sieges in this episode, I think, as well. But we will try and do some big battles, of course. Always wanting to do the big battles for the boys. Uh, anyone in here that's worth taking out? I mean, the Epibates, but unfortunately now Kratis is not exactly a happy place right now. Um, how do you feel about leaving them? absolutely not happy so yeah this army we're not going to attack these guys here because they are going to get saved by the nabataeans and what i'm going to do i'm going to bait an army to try and attack us on this river always a good tactic see whether you can actually bait them to attacking you on a river crossing whether they do or not doesn't really matter too much it should just you know, reinvigorate the AI to do what they want, really, and, and see what they actually have to offer over there. So, yes, we've got that army moving south. We've got this army continuing its movement. Once these places are a little bit happier, we're going to be able to move a little bit better as well and move a few more troops out. So for now, what we're going to do, we're going to build up some happiness. We're going to go for the Shrine to Zeus. I'm imagining there is corruption here. There is lots of corruption down here. So getting the Shrine to Zeus is something that we definitely want to do. And I'm doing my favorite thing, guys. We're doing some campaign management for once. It's been a while, hasn't it, since we've done some campaign management, really, in this campaign, <laughs> specifically. Uh, looks like Temple of Zeus is in there. Large Temple of Dionysus. Don't really mind that. We'll get a sewers then to try and make these guys a little bit happier. How about here? Yeah, let's continue with the Shrine to Zeus. And then Lycon Polis up here with its single mercenary guy. Let's go for the Shrine to Zeus there. We're just going to go up the Nile and see what we've got going on for us over here. I think continuing to get higher happiness in these places is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not really worth building anything there right now. This place, however, would be worth probably building that Shrine to Poseidon. Somehow you can build a Shrine to Poseidon, but you are not coastal. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Heraclea... Pon, uh, polis let's just go for that shrine to artemis for now and then up here let's continue with our building so what i'm going to do i'm going to prioritize based on money and i think alexandria is probably the place where we can benefit most from a building 763 from the shipwright that pays for itself in nearly 10 turns this one also sorry just over 10 turns. This one's 6,300. That's a 20 turn payback. So that is fantastic for both of those buildings. So I'm going to get that in straight away. They're building military buildings over here. Let's then have a look. Potentially, is there anywhere else? I mean, Ellis over here, I'm assuming is just riddled with corruption. Yeah, so much corruption. 
but how much would say this port bring 283 but 141 of that is lost to corruption which is pretty insane i'm not gonna lie none of these places are particularly rich 1400 420 for uh, sophis nice number but at the same time not great um so yeah let's uh let's then hmm i think yeah we just don't need to build there for now it's not really worth it because the recruitment hubs okay no the recruitment hubs aren't actually building so will it be worth going for level two can't so we can apparently we can get the uh rhodian hoplites but not the rhodian hoplites at level two ha huh, strange 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 times how about Leprion? Well, at least one of these I think we should upgrade to level 2. And it should really be probably Olympia, because Olympia is a bigger city. Leprion instead, what we're going to do is go for that missile range or stables. We'll go for the stables for now so we can get Prodromoy. These places are building, so I don't really want to build any more recruitment hubs over there. We've, we've built enough of them. So let's now have a look for some of our richer regions. 2,000 in Mendes there. 2,200 now Kratis. Alexandria is building. Now Kratis is building as well. 2,200 in Arthribis there. So that's probably the best option next. Let's have a look at what the market can do for us. 17 gold. Exactly what we need, boys. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think we get the roads there because when we get up to the second level of roads... Tannis, 4,000, my friends. 4,000. 2,200 from trade. Apparently, the roads can bring us 100. That's not amazing, but it's not awful either. I mean, this actually brings more, the Agora. So let's get that in there then. Where else do we have a good income? I mean, Mendez, of course. Let's have a look at that. What would, say, a road bring? Nothing. Just taxes. <laughs> just bad taxes. This is mainly making money from taxes rather than actually trading and farms of course because it is a high fertility region out here on the nile delta so there's nothing really economically we can build there that's going to improve anything memphis on the other hand let's see do we go for level two? Oh, there's a lot of macho for it there's also a settlement in here somewhere that we can build carrion troops so i do want to try and find that that's a dorian community so that's not carrions. Let's have a look. Level two. Yeah, not carrions. Not carrions. So there is somewhere that we can build carrions. So I do need to find that. That's Dorian as well. Somewhere on the Nile. Oh, here it is. Boobastis. Boobastis. Let's have a look at the second level. Yes, we can get a carrion light infantry and carrion heavy infantry. So we are definitely going to get Rhodium recruitment level two in Boobastis at some point. Um, but yeah, let's have a look then again for more economic buildings. Letu Polis, no, Althribis we're building. Tanis we're building. Mendez, let's choose something. I mean, like I say, there's not really that much that's that worthwhile here. Bit of market. Oh, no, actually, let's save us some cash. What we're going to do... No, we don't want to cancel that because that's a fantastic building. Where did we just start building? We just started building in Althribis, didn't we? I think we need about 12,000. Same with Tanis. So let's go for, where was it, Leonton Polis? No, it was uh, Benitos Polis. Let's pop that in there for now. Fantastic. Prosopis as well. Mm. So then Arthribis, let's go back for the market. And there we are. We've done our campaign management. And I absolutely loved it, my friends. I absolutely loved it. Well, the Akarnanian League is going for a cheeky little alliance. I'm 100% going to accept that. We need more allies. I don't think they are at war with the Aetolians. So, hmm. This may bring us to war with the Aetolians. But honestly, it needs to start at some point, doesn't it? So, let's accept that for now. Well, another candidate for adoption. Let's absolutely accept that. He's in Alexandria too. And Alexandria, I believe... Oh, I thought it had an academy. Well, we'll leave him in Alexandria for now. I know he's not going to be amazing what are his traits less management less morale he's uninteresting uncharismatic and what else what else was your problem my friend let's go on here uninteresting uncharismatic but vigorous so he's gonna have good health but he's uncharismatic that might make him good for managing and money we'll, we will see 
Uh, he's got minus two management at this point in time. But if we can build an academy in here, which we can't right now because we don't even have a market. But <laughs> if we can do at some point, <laughs> that'll be fine. Ellis did decide to siege down one of our settlements. Really, Ellis? Just so dumb. I don't know why. Rhodes, we got another Rhodian Slinger. Oh, very nice indeed. Let's uh, make sure we're keeping on going with that for now. Lindos, we got another Byream. And then over in this area, we just got a load of troops. Let's see whether we can leave Prosopis or not. Yes, we can. Leaving a single man behind. Good. What we're going to do, we're going to try assembling a new army again. So we're going to have three armies or at least four armies, I guess. No, five armies. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie. These guys are looking like they're interested now. So it would be fantastic if they decide to attack us. You can go and join up with those boys as well. Over here, you can join up with that army, but it's going to take you a while to come down the Nile. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to send you all the way down the Nile. Without a general, it's going to take ages, but I don't think we've got any generals to spare around here at this moment in time. You can join up with them too. So we've got a bit of a convoy going. You're going back for retraining, I'm guessing, in Aphrodite Polis. There you go. You are coming down still. I don't mind if we get attacked by rebels. That's not really a problem. That uh, needs to be done at some point. We've also got... These guys are a lot happier now. So I wonder whether we can leave. No, still 60%. How about over here? I would like those horse archers. Uh, because they are good uh, good fodder. <laughs> That's literally it. They're not, they're not fantastic units. But they are good fodder for us. In the long run. So let's get them out. Mm, we do definitely need somewhere down here that we can train some more troops. All the rest of these garrisons are relatively okay. I'm willing to take out the Prodromoi when we've got a little bit more happiness. Take out the Macedonians? No, they really don't like that. But I don't think these two units are actually doing much. No, not much. So we're going to send them back up to Aphrodite Polis for retraining too. And yeah, I think that's... That's good down here. We need to do that battle as well at some point. So let us do that in a second. Now let's deal with Ellis. Hmm. Thanks, Ellis. I don't know what you're doing and why you're doing it, but it's fine. <laughs> let's bring these guys around. Now, I should have just sieged this down because the Aetolians are just dumb. Like, what are they doing? Like, that's just pointless. <laughs> let's get another unit in there. We'll also get another unit in there. Have we got anyone that's worth leaving behind as a garrison? Probably those mercenary Thuriophoroi for now. So let's get them out and let's come and attack them. They surely will run away. Really? They're not running away. That is just so dumb, honestly. Why are you this dumb, my friends? Why are you this dumb? Right, let's get this guy over here. Boo. Bastis, where are we, Boo Bastis? Yeah, you're still building another building, so nothing I can really do about that. Let's keep on going. More training, more troops, constantly getting more and more troops in these armies, my friends. That is what we've got to do at this point in time. So let's go for some more Rhodian Hoplites, of course, and we will get more Epibot. Oh, one more turn! And now Kratos will be able to retrain these Slingers. So we can really, really increase the power of this army by replacing some of these Hoplites with some Slingers. That'll be absolutely glorious. Sorry about that, guys. I did have to just go and deal with something. So uh, we are back. And yeah, we were recruiting, weren't we? Everywhere, kind of. So we will get another Egyptian Skirmisher. These could be good garrison troops for us going forward. Oh my god. <laughs> look at the navies here. I mean, look at the armies here is more is more the statement really, isn't it? But as long as they just don't breach the fort wall, we only really need one army up here. Kind of want to see what's going on over this way and see whether we can just wipe them out from this side of the map. Like if we bring this spy all the way down... So is that Kyrene now? That is Kyrene now. I wonder where this settlement is. I think it's somewhere around there. So, we, Oh, that looks like a road. That looks like it's snapping to a road there. 
So let's come through that way and let's see whether we can take that one out as well. Uh, and what else do we have to do? We've got 6,000 gold left, so let's build something at least. Roads. Is there anything worth even building in roads anymore? It's got a lot of corruption. I mean, 129 isn't too bad. That's not going to really bring anything to us. I would prefer to either go for the dockyard or something like that, but let's just get the Agora for now. Spend our money if we can. So let's go for this siege battle. Probably going to be heavily edited as usual, my friends. They've only got Machuroi, Foroi, Cavalry, and some Thurio, Foroi. So this really shouldn't be too bad. But uh, let's get into the battle then. So the poor Thurio, Foroi got absolutely shredded, my friends. <laughs> Insanely shredded. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring our cavalry around this way. We're also going to bring uh, one unit of the hoplites that way. And we're going to bring these guys this way too. Looks like we're going to have to fight them on the town square. Don't necessarily mind that. The uh, Yeah, the uh, Thurio 4 got shredded. You can see all these kills down here from our guys on the walls and taking the towers, of course, as well. Always a good thing to do. Oh, hello. Was not expecting that. Kill them. And let's just get out of there for now. Ah, oh, no. I didn't even know. I was too busy talking, my friends. Too busy talking. Well, which one's died? Which one's actually died? I didn't see which one had actually died. Um, one of them has. You guys just get up there as quick as possible then. Oh, well. Well, if we take losses on the generals, it really doesn't matter. It's where we take losses elsewhere that's the problem. So you guys just stay here. You can't rally because which general did die? Did both of them die? Sorry, it, it tabbed out there. Which one? Argios has died. Oh, dear. I think Argios was the good one, right? Um, oh, well. Ah, well, uh, at least we've got Zeuxis and Pythagoras too. These guys need to come around all the way up here to deal with the boyos. And I think we can completely just crush these guys now. Very nice. This unit should be able to hold its own. And we shall surround them. Let's speed it up so uh, we can get up here even quicker. Come on, boys. Let's go. I don't really want to... I mean, I could just take the town square. That's not a problem. And let's go and surround them. We're not really losing too many Rhodian Hoplites here either, which is great for us. And again, we only need to survive two minutes. But here we go. If we can rout these boys, all of them. There we go. Glorious victory. Even if we did lose Argios. Ah. Oh, dear. We really didn't lose many men. A lot of those were generals, bodyguards. But Argios dying was not exactly fantastic. But a good victory nonetheless, my friends. I will see you back on the campaign map. So I think it's one of those where we definitely have to exterminate. So let's go for that in there. There we go. And let's also destroy that building. This place. Oh my god. Awesome Temple of Dionysus already. Wow. That's pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie. But let's leave behind. I mean, who do we want to leave behind? Uh, definitely losing Argios is a bit of an issue here. Um, I mean, the Libyan skirmishers are the worst unit. So let's leave them behind. And we can actually... Oh, I thought we'd get be able to get up to high there. Unfortunately not. But... I don't think we're that far away from Kush now. Where's Kush? Oh, no. Well, <laughs> when I say that far away, we are pretty darn far away from Kush. <laughs> Still got about 100 cities to go, boys, down the Nile. Just marching further and further down the old Nile. I also think this place would be good for a recruitment hub because we do need recruitment hubs down here. So let's smash that in straight away. And what else have we got? We're still building in a lot of places, so let's keep that up. We've still got a lot of money to spend, though. So let's have a look. Zios up here, or Hyos, I guess you would say it in Greek. Let's have a look. 124 isn't awful. I wish some of these places would have ports. Like, why does this not have a port? Uh, well, I guess it's the moving estuary. It, it probably wouldn't have a port in real life, but... It would be very nice to have ports up here. We'd make so much more money. And even if we just came down this coast, we would make an absolute 
fortune, my friends. <laughs> Let's have a look at Kato Diaspolis. Really, that only brings you 28 gold. That is awful. Let's build that then for now. Uh, and let's see. Anywhere really unhappy. Always prioritize your unhappy places first. No, everywhere's pretty darn good. And the unhappy places are already building. So, Zios, no one in there of worth. So, let's leave that. Prosopis. I think it's worth getting a, a road here now. Just that extra boost to a bit of movement for the people in there. So, let's leave that be for now. We do have these big... Um, units down here that are ready to fight. But let's press the end turn, guys, and let's see what happens. Oh, god damn it. How the hell and why does Ellis have ships out here? Uh, if that's not proof that the AI does, in fact, know where you are and just pretends it doesn't, I don't know what is. Like, why else would Ellis have ships here? <sighs> Wait. It says there's no one on here. There, there, I was going to say, there they are. <laughs> Elephant man, you took Carthage, but now it's time to die. Yep. God damn it! <laughs> what a waste! What a waste of a load of money and a load of time, my friends. <laughs> oh dear. Adrissians are dead. Now that is surprising, I'm not going to lie. Very surprising indeed. Right, this army is going to come down to Kome. Let's get that done. You guys are coming all the way up here. You're also coming all the way up. I also forgot about the Battle at Ellis. <laughs> oh, dear. You're coming down. Got that battle to do. It is some Chalka Speeders in there. So that's not ideal for us, is it? Um, but, yeah. We've got some more hoplites. I think we can probably leave there now. Yes, we can. Fantastic. So we've got more units ready to come. What about over here? Because we did have some units. You can probably... Oh, well, retreat. <laughs> They're just hiding in the desert. Wow. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I respect that. There's nothing really I can say other than that. Just like, I respect that. <laughs> We've got a candidate for adoption. Zeuxis. Let's go for that. Not completed, apparently. Uh, disaster. Well, it wasn't a disaster. It was Ellis killing us. <laughs> I don't know why you've... You know, said that's a disaster game because that was 100% Ellis killing us. <laughs> oh, yes. Come on, the boys. <laughs> How long has it taken us? We pretty much took. So we're on about 60, turn 64. And finally, we can retrain these Rhodian slingers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's also. I mean, we're going to retrain all of those boys, so let's get another Epibate in there. Also, there is some Rhodian Slingers in one of these forts. This one. So I wonder whether we can swap them out for something or someone somewhere. Somehow. <laughs> um, yeah, we need to swap them out definitely so we can actually use them. A lot easier than uh, taking the two turns to recruit. So I wonder whether we can go for that at some point. You guys are still gathering. We've still got a lot of troops training. Once we've got these boys, we are going to join them into there, potentially. Or we could join them into this army and make this army pretty much unstoppable. We are going to move here and probably take that battle straight away. Um, but yeah, some good, some good victories out there. Let's also keep on training up this way. Anyone else need training? Yeah, more Epibates. Good. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I think everyone else that can train is training right now. I always forget exactly which settlements we can and can't train from. You guys go and join there. You are training now. Fantastic. Why does that close when we move a unit? That's a bit annoying. Like, stop. Just keep that open. <laughs> There's a reason why I wanted it open. Like, just keep it open. <laughs> If I misclick, then, uh, yeah, that's fine. But just keep that little tab open, please. <laughs> please. Please. Oh, 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 God. It's not, the, it's not the end of the world. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> right, guys. Uh, we've got that battle. We've got this battle to do. We've got this battle to do, too. Which shouldn't be too hard. Like, look at those armies. Absolute ship. Oh, hello, Nabatea. 
I feel like we go for that army first. Because that's going to be a bridge battle. And I think we can, like, force them off the bridge. So, yeah, let's go for that one first. And then over in... Over here. They are still sieging us down, so we're going to have to do that battle. Right, guys. Let's get into these battles, and we're going to have a series of serious... Series of serious, serious, series of battles. <laughs> Great. So I've gone around and checked all of the cities in our realm and just adjusted the tax rates on a few. It's got us a tiny little extra bit of money, but not too much, to be honest. It's been a couple of days since I have recorded, so um, I do remember where we are up to. I've watched back part of the video. We've got a few battles to do. Um, and we're going to start with this alien one, a nice, simple, easy one. So let's go through with this one, and I will see you on the battle map, guys. So they actually set up right next to where our other generals come in. He's a bit hidden at the minute, so we're going to run him away uh, and try and escape. But uh, yeah, slightly weird, but quite funny at the same time. Well done, AI, for doing something clever for once. Well, here comes the enemy running and charging down the hill. Not a very good charge by them, but all right nonetheless. Into the Akontistai. I don't mind that. As long as they don't get to the Rhodian Slingers, that's fine. Uh, we are just going to have to use our cavalry to destroy them, I guess. Are these guys withdrawing? Yes, they are. So we're going to have to use one unit of cavalry to do that. So let's get them there. Come on, Hoplites. You need to get through. You need to save the day here. Now we're going to get out with old uh, my sisties over this way. Let's kill this Greek bodyguard if we can. Now we are on very hard, remember, so it's going to be very difficult to kill him one-on-one. -on -one. So let's get out one more time, run through our men so he has to run into them. Why are you not firing? Can you fire, please, at least? That would be nice. We do need to destroy this Greek archer as well. So let's get out that way. Oh, my God, that absolutely ruined them. Second volley, let's go. Let's go. Hardly killed any, unfortunately. But let's kill them. Apparently, they can just run through our men, which is kind of interesting. But, okay, we should be able to kill them now. You guys get there. Very messy, this. But, oh, well. We, we don't. These troops are so bad that it really doesn't matter that much. You guys get up that way. Uh, we've killed. We've not killed the general. There we go. We've killed him now. So, we should be able to rout that other unit quite easily. There we go. He's routed. How are we doing over this way? These guys still not dying? Come on. We've got to kill them. Easy victory, my friends. Easy victory. Bit of a mess, but okay. It doesn't really matter too much. You guys fire. Hopefully you don't kill the general. Let's continue. Charge them down. Chase them down. In fact, you guys should chase them down as well because you're faster than the cavalry, it seems. Uh, but a glorious victory nonetheless. Well, a glorious victory, guys. Let's get back onto that campaign map. And it seems like now we could actually go for Igeon. However, this army, I don't think we beat that, guys. <laughs> Not at the minute, anyway. So I think we just go back to Leprion, where we have a nice little recruitment hub going. We've also got Olympia here that's also a recruitment hub. But Leprion's a little bit safer. So let's go for that. Anyone we can retrain, just one at the minute until we get a bit of extra cash. So we're going to have to take one of the settlements that we are sieging down. Not that one. We've got this one over here. Let's do this next then. Should be nice and quick. We don't have that many troops, but should be relatively quick nonetheless. And of course, very heavily edited, so you don't need to see too much of this tiny little siege. Well, here comes the first group of hoplites. Finally managed to get them off the town square. We're going to fully try and surround them and fire javelins into them too. And we're also going to bring these guys up this way and see whether we can bring the cavalry round as well and see what we can do with those boys. There we go. Should be a nice, easy squeeze. If we can try and push this Chalka Speed at uh, Clorotri Phalangites off the town square as well, that'd be excellent. Now we've got them off the town square. All we need to do now is just hold them here for three minutes. Doesn't matter how many losses we take, and we have won. Fantastic. There we go, guys. A glorious victory and another city down the Nile to add to our collection. And I think we're going to keep the theme up of exterminating and keeping everyone happy 
down here. So let's do that and put it down to low. Looks like a relatively rich settlement before we <laughs> exterminated it. So good victory though, nonetheless. And let's not leave there for now. We don't need to really, do we? Uh, for a little while. And uh, we can leave when we want to as well. I would like to take that general with us, but also would like all of these reinforcements that are coming down at some point. Got that one. So now we've got some actual proper battles to do. Some big ones. Wondering if we do this one first. It looks like mainly like uh, camel warriors and all that sort of thing. Um, or do we go for the Nabataeans who don't have any rams? These guys don't have any rams either. So let's go for this one. Shouldn't be too bad. And I think if we form up on the left, we can destroy this army as it comes in because... If I just retreat for a second, this army should be directly to the left of us. So let's do that. Hopefully it's not a mega bumpy battle map, <laughs> but let's find out. It's actually a wonderful battle map. Look at this. Really nice sand dunes. Really cool. I love to see that. I'm sure that's not a uh, settlement out here in the desert. It, it, uh, well, not a city anyway. It is a settlement. But we are going to form up on this left-hand side. And we are going to destroy that army as it comes in. Going to protect our flank on the right with our glorious commanders. Let's just run forward as quick as possible. There they go. There they are. Straight in there, boys. And uh, let's get our guys here. Get our generals in here. We don't want anyone to escape. I don't mind if this army escapes. I just want to kind of kill it. So... Let's keep coming forward. Looks like they're just going to go for the attack straight away. Don't mind that at all. But as long as we can, you know, hold them in place. Get there. Get there. You guys. And don't worry about the Nabataeans. They are not going to be a problem for us or trouble for us at all. Uh, so, yeah. Let's uh, come forward. Let's do all this. They may even withdraw the Nabataeans. And I, I don't mind that for now. It just keeps them out of uh, our sight for a little while. There we go. Go fight them. You guys come forward too. You guys come forward. They, the thing is, their cavalry's got nowhere to go, which is great for us. You guys get up on the hill. I'm going to try and get my slingers up here, actually, as well. That would be fantastic to shoot down on the camel archers. You guys get there as well. You guys get fighting them. Everyone here is routing. You guys get across there. Get over that way. And they've got nowhere to escape, have they? So, come on, Slingers. Let's go. Get up there so we can finally get rid of them. One of you can uh, turn around and attack the Matroi Foroi. And the rest of you, let's get over this way. It's not really much for them to do, is that? Poor guys. Poor guys. Let's get over that way. And, yeah, a little bit messy, but, you know, who doesn't mind a little bit of mess every now and then? Here we go. Fire down on them camel archers, my friends. There they go, running away. How many have we killed? I've got a feeling that these guys might withdraw now. They're just stood there, so they're not even going to try and help. Okay, don't mind that at all. <laughs> here we go. Cavalry's here. Let's go into there. Oh, he's actually fighting. Let's, uh, let's get out of there then, General. We don't want to use you just to fight. We want to use you to charge. Fire at them. Ah, oh, there they go. They're absolutely getting shredded by the Slingers. So, everyone, get in there. Let's see if we can fully surround these boys and get rid of them. The rest of you, let's just get formed up. Yeah, they are withdrawing, but I don't mind that. That forces them to end the siege, so then we can go and fight someone else. A glorious victory. Just killing the Ptolemies rather than the Nabataeans this time. There we go. 157 for 562. Pretty much destroyed this army. Just Captain Ikrima has survived. But that's fine. He'll go off and retreat somewhere and come back later down the line. But we shall kill him when he does. So a good victory nonetheless, my friends. So now let's do a secondary battle against those guys. We've got a lot of retinues for my sisters. And Zeuxis as well. This is Agothostratos, our faction leader, who's been a beast since the start. But my sister's over here. He's got the one who's got the juicy old retinues. He's doing well. Three silver experience now as well. Pretty nice indeed. Um, Agothostratos, though. Three gold. Fair enough. So, 
Let's attack these guys. It's going to be across a river, so I'm hoping it's not the widest river ever. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. We're going to use our slingers, of course. They may get a little damaged, but that doesn't matter so much anymore, does it, guys? That's the good thing about this. It doesn't matter too much anymore if they do get damaged because we can finally retrain them. So let's get into the battle then, guys. Hopefully, we can draw them across the bridge and do an absolute number on these boys. Well, here we go. They are a long way off the bridge, but I'm hoping we can still draw them across like we normally can, especially with the Rodians, because the Rodians are just so good. We're going to get a big blob in there. We're also going to stick three guys behind here. Going to stick missile men right behind there. So, they What are you doing, man? Uh, and we're going to get the slingers right up towards the front so they can fire all the way across. Should have a very good range. There we go. And this should be okay. We're going to keep the general close for now and then send him across when they decide to attack. So let's see what they do. And literally, just as we ran out of ammo with this slinger, who we're going to pull back as far away from the battle now as possible, uh, we did get them to come across. So, glorious, glorious, glorious. Let's see if we can keep them coming across if we keep firing. There we go. Start firing at them, the Abba Warriors. And let's see, are they going to come across or not? So, it looks like they aren't going to come across. But we are going to just chill for a second. Let our guys recover some of their uh, fatigue, of course. And then we're just going to swing around the back of them and fully squish them against our army. In fact, while we're doing that, I am going to send one guy to try and clear the Arab warriors out of the way for now. And hopefully they should be able to do a good job. We did tank a lot of shots here, but I don't think it was too much of a worry, to be honest. They should also not be firing because they're too scared of firing at their own men now. And then we're going to crush them against a rock and a hard place. So that is going to be fantastic. Our awesome Rodian hoplites have been absolutely beastly, haven't they? Been so good. And I just love seeing the massed ranks up here on the banks of the River Nile or the Nile Delta. So let's go. Let's get nicely spread out here. And we've got our fatigue back so we can come forward. And we're going to spread out slightly. Once those Arab warriors have got out of the way, we're going to move these guys across too. Uh, first of all, let's group those boys up. There we go. Let's also group you two so we know that's you two. And we'll get the rest of you guys grouped up too. These guys should be able to get rid of the Arab Warriors quite easily and quite nicely. And then we're going to squish them uh, against the river and watch them all die. Here we go then. Going in for the charge, my friends. We're also going to bring these guys across the river too. Hopefully they can break that Arab Warrior rather quickly. We're going to go straight in the back of these. They've got nowhere to run. So I don't know where they're going to think that they're going to go. But it's it's nowhere. So, uh, you know, we're just going to enjoy ourselves here. And come and break them. That's one of their generals dying on the charge. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Let's keep going. Get across. We're going to bring our general across too. There we go. This should be nice and easy. Look at that. Absolutely pulverizing them. Let's get into those camel warriors. Who is taking... These guys are taking a lot of damage, but that's probably... Ah, because the general's bodyguard. Yeah, I was going to say that. Let's go. Let's go, Ben. Go, go, go. Get in the back of them. Get in the back of them here. Some of you need to come right too as well. There we go. Where is our general's bodyguards? They are fighting the camel archers. I don't think we're going to break, fully destroy this unit either. But we have fully turned them on the bridge. Glorious, glorious, my friends. Absolutely glorious. What we're going to do is send these guys across to chase down them as well. Who do we prioritize to chase after? I think we need some guy over this way. You guys can chase down them for now. And then you can go back and chase someone else down. While the general... Where is our main general? Where are you? You're over there. Yep, cool. So you're going to chase down most of this side. So we should chase down most of this side as well. You guys go. Glorious victory, my friends. Turn them against the river. And look at the devastation that occurred just there. Wow. Oh, you guys are swimming across. That's not what I meant, guys. <laughs> oh, dear.
Well, a glorious victory considering we were on the banks of a river with a river crossing to do, I've got to say. Look at that, Rodian Sling is 130 kills and no losses. <laughs> Very nice. 168 and no losses. That's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? Fantastic victory. Let's get back on the campaign map. So I've just moved them back towards this bridge. I'm hoping they might stand on the bridge and we force another bridge battle. That would be lovely. I love a good bridge battle in this campaign, not going to lie. And then when that is done, what we're going to do is swap out a couple of these guys for three more slingers when all of these guys have been retrained. And then we're also going to add in maybe two Epibates, so replace maybe one of these generals who has a bit of command, maybe Cadmos over here. He is, let's have a look, he's green, but he should be a good commander eventually. He's from a noble family, renowned, which is good for him. He's Spartan as well. He likes a drink, which can lead, I think, to some good, um, some good traits for leading men. Um, but yeah, that's going to be good. We're sending those guys back for retraining. That's being done. We're waiting in there, and we've got nothing else to do over here either. So... Uh, we've just got a bit of money to spend. Let's just see. Are we training troops everywhere we can do? Yes. Yes, we are. Looks like... I think we are, to be honest. Training everywhere we really can. Uh, especially now, Kratis. How about... Uh, yeah, we don't want to do that there. Let's have a look. I think, I think we are training just everywhere, honestly. So that's pretty good for us, I've got to say. Yeah, training literally everywhere. That we can do. I don't think there's anywhere down the Nile where we can train. I wish it would keep that open. I know I've said that many times before, but I wish it would. When you misclick and then you click on it again, you have to reopen it. Um, but yeah, no, it's just spies and all that sort of shiz down here. But we are building a recruitment hub. How about like here? Would here be a good recruitment hub? No, it would not. Here, here, no. None of these are good recruitment hubs. That's pretty awful. They're all awful recruitment hubs. I mean, that's the only one. And so this is the only one that has any sort of military buildings at all. Oh, this does as well. The one we've just taken. So let's go for that. that this can be our little recruitment hub down this way. Um, and our spies are moving. Good. I don't feel like scamming the AI for any money at the minute. Uh, but yeah, pretty unfortunate elephant man just got killed <laughs> on the ship. There was nothing we could do there either, like... We're not going to drop him off here, are we? Um, he was literally just next to Syracuse as well. And I think I just pressed the end turn and he was killed. Oh, <laughs> so annoying. Poor elephant, man. But anyway, guys, let's end the turn there. Actually, no, let's do some building. We haven't built for a little while, have we? Um, Zeos is slightly upset, so let's build something that'll make them happy. There we go. Now, Kratis. Now, now Kratis. There we go. That's a good option for building we could go up to level four but what's that really going to bring us thurio foroi it's pointless we don't need thurio foroi and also we don't need this because there's nothing here that needs that like second tier barracks that's what well we've only got first tier hmm i think we get the stable so we can get prodromoy here but god damn there's there's nothing oh no let's have a look at tier three that's better now we can actually see what we could get if we get that next tier of barracks. Long Spearman, that's useless. There's no good cavalry around this region. Where was that Carrion region again? Wasn't it Boobis? Boobastis. There we are. This is where we're going to get maybe some good cavalry. Let's have a look. Level 3. We get the Carrion... Uh, we get the Carrion Light Infantry and Carrion Heavy Infantry, but we also can get the Matroi Foroi Cavalry. And we can get Neocretan Archers. I'm not sure we want those over the Slingers, but it's not too bad either. Um, but now, Kratis, you know what? We might as well get some economic buildings in here because we've not done any for a while. And that's going to bring us a lot of money. So let's do that and let's end the turn, guys. Atropatine has been destroyed. That's very interesting. So has Litos. That's not so interesting. Asti as well. That's kind of expected. But Atropatine, that's kind of crazy. I was not... Would not expect that. There's a little bit of an army there. And there's another settlement there. So we've got the spies all in there. We've got a bit of an army. I think I'm going to move towards wrapping up, guys. So 
Let's do that. You're going to come down to rejoin over that way. You guys are all going to spend money on retraining. That's a lot of cash. We've now got the slingers in here. How far can you move? What I'm going to do is instead of going onto the bridge, I'm going to bring these two armies together over here so uh, Rain can see what this army's doing. Is this a place where we can train? It is. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop in there for now. We're going to retrain everyone we can. Okay, let's uh, let's merge a couple together. Just make it a bit easier. There we go. That should be easier. We're also going to sort. And I'm going to move out these three into this army here. I'm also going to move out, if I combine a couple of these... I'm going to move those two in there. We're going to send three of the slingers into the army. We're also going to send two Epibates into that army too. Now, Kratos is back being happy. Good. This should have been built now. So let's get that in there. Let's also swap the garrisons over so we can put the slingers into there. Let's auto sort them. Let's move this guy across into that army. So now we have a decent sized army over this way. We've got a really good army there. And we should also be able to fill it with another unit somewhere if we have any. So I'm sure some unit just got, got uh, completed. Oh, you did. So you go into there and I'm just going to swap you out to go back that way. And anywhere else, I'm sure we just recruited someone. These three units there are for garrisoning. And yeah, I think that's was done up there. Let's also have a look at our notifications. We've got a candidate for adoption. Let's take them. Not completed. Tannis is now ready to upgrade. Going to have to spend 12,800 on that. Lots of factions been destroyed. And construction-wise, yeah, we got some Rodian Slingers in Rhodes. So, is it worth... Hmm... I don't know. How far can you actually go? Not far. We'll wait till next turn. I'll let Rain know about that one. Uh, how about over here? Let's retrain those. Let's also recruit another unit there. Sort them out. So, yeah, we've got some good units in there. Well, let's pop them in there too. And, yeah, I think we've got some relatively decent units over here. It's just... Don't really have that much in the way of uh, recruitment capability, really. So let's pop that in there. And we've also got another one coming. So we'll soon have a decent army here. Not an amazing one, but a decent one nonetheless. So let's, before we go, though, I should probably do this. I'm going to auto result. Really? 876? 876. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good advertisement for never auto-resolving, guys. But at least we've taken this settlement now. Any recruitment hub? Yes, they do. Let's destroy that. Let's also repair those buildings. And let's move straight on to this settlement. Um, yeah, which is Philoterra. We'll take that. We'll take that one, Myos Hormos, and then I guess they can either come down and join up with this army, or they can go back south. You guys have moved, and we've not got a general with you, so... Probably worth you going and uh, trying to join up with them. There we go, that'll be a lot quicker to get down. Uh, wealthy now for Xenocrates, good. So, yeah, in terms of everything else, I don't want to leave anything too messy. So, we've got that unit on the way down. We've got that unit over there sieging down in the east. We've got a couple of spies coming down, wandering through the coast here. So, that's another settlement there. And where's that other spy? I swear I just saw the other spy. Yeah, you're there. You can go stand on that bridge and have a look around. And, yeah, they're coming down to that one. You guys are getting retrained in there. 
And yes, we've got that guy going back for retraining. We've got a new army here that can do whatever it wants. We've got this army getting retrained and also ready to go as a very, very, very effective army now. Absolutely fantastic army, really, when you have a look at it. These guys have got a few troops in there, too. You can go and join there. We don't need you in there, do we? And yes, I think we're still recruiting in quite a few places. Uh, Ellis, yeah, nothing else to do there. Good. Well, I think that's where we'll end it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.